Hi there, Sage Can of VO2 Max Productions here with another shoe review. Today we're going to talk about the Hoka 1-1 Speed Goat. And first off, just to get this off my chest, I know what you're thinking. Obviously, I'm a Hoka sponsored athlete. Um, I'm going to be a little biased. I'm not going to do as many shoe reviews because I only do Hoka shoes now. Um, but this shoe really excites me. Why am I excited about this shoe? Well, first off, a little bit of history. Uh, it's a trail shoe, a very rugged trail shoe. And the Speed Goat is named after legendary ultra runner Carl Meltzer. Uh, who's probably won more 100 mile races than anyone else in the world. Uh, he's a Masters runner now, but total legend. He's also one of the first uh, mainstream Hoka athletes that brought the Hoka brand to the US. Uh, it originated in France, but he was legendary pioneer of wearing Hokas and being one of the first big time trail ultra runners uh, wearing a shoe. And he does all sorts of events. He puts on this great race uh, in Utah called the Speed Goat 50K, which I'm actually doing in two and a half weeks. It's outside of Salt Lake City in the mountains. A really cool event. He's an awesome runner, amazing runner. He's doing hard rock this weekend. Best of luck, Carl Speed Goat Melter. He's also really good at speed golf, uh, go figure. But uh, Carl wanted a design that would embody the spirit of mountain ultra trail running and a, a shoe that would be a, a good shoe in the Hoka brand and in the Hoka lineup and you know at first honestly I was skeptical because uh, this shoe is kind of built off of the Rapa Nui last and to tell you the truth honestly the Rapa Nui wasn't my favorite Hoka shoe in the lineup. I've, I've My go-to shoes in the past have been the Hoka 1-1 Huaka. Uh, I like the Clifton Trail which is a Challenger ATR basically. A, Clifton Road model with lugs on it, Challenger ATR, great shoe again. Um, but if you're really looking for the rugged trail running edge, if you're really looking for traction, uh, this shoe really delivers and it's been really exciting. Uh, it's coming out in the next couple months. So we'll get into the design features here and I'll tell you about how it fits and feels. So first off, the shoe weighs in under 10 ounces. We're coming in about 9.7 ounces, about 273 grams for my metric friends. And it's a 33.28 uh, with a five millimeter offset. Uh, so nice, pretty low profile design. Again, like most Hoka's, we have the consistent meta rocker here, uh, meta rocker geometry that kind of helps roll you forward more naturally. But the thing that really shines about the shoe uh, is the traction. We have on the bottom here, this is exciting, full length uh, Vibram outsole with four millimeter lugs. Look at that lug pattern. It is just rich. Uh, so we're talking about nice grip on rocks, nice grip in the mud, nice grip on dirt. Um, it's not designed as a road shoe at all, but a lot of the trails I've been running in Boulder, I have to run on the bike path or pavement for a mile before I get to the dirt and it's fine on paved services. Some shoe models you have lugs on the bottom and you slip on smooth uniform services. Not this model. Fever mount sole, good rubber, good sticky rubber, grips, and a nice lug pattern uh, for the mud as well, or grass or whatever you're running on. So the shoe's relatively lightweight for having that much lugs, and the beauty of it, and this is what really surprised me and why it's not like the Rapa Nui at all, uh, we have a little bit wider of a fit in the last, uh, which is nice. Uh, if you have slightly wider feet, uh, it's a very, it's still a very dialed fit though, I will say, but very flexible upper, very flexible, um, nice little toe cap protection here on the end, uh, but real breathable, flexible material, regular laces, um, and just a really dialed fit. But the flexibility on this thing is actually amazing. Uh, and it's because they cut these flex screws into the bottom. We got flex screws running uh, both directions laterally and uh, across this way. And so you feel that flexion, um, it, it gives you some, some wiggle room. And it's also designed to deform uh, some deformation on rocks. So you could kind of just crush those rocks on the downhill, which I really like. It allows you to to flex with your foot more naturally um, and also forward. Once you break them in, uh, definitely, you could get up more on your toes. Uh, it's a very, very flexible shoe compared to the Rapa Nui and even the Challenger ATR, I say. So really like that flexion, really like uh, that kind of lightweight feel. 
So in closing, when testing this bad boy out on the trails, and I put it through the ringer on the trails here in Boulder, uh, it performs very well on a wide variety of trail surfaces and on very technical rocky terrain. I'm running up and down mountains, doing 14ers, running around boulders here this summer. It's actually been really wet. We've been, it's been raining a lot. And so I've been running in the mud, through water, stream crossings, you name it. Uh, this thing is gripping a lot better, or better than any other Hoka shoe that I've tested. And uh, again, usually I don't wear like something like the Mafate, um, which has a very aggressive lug pattern as well on the bottom. But this, the traction on this is better than uh, the Hoka 1-1 Challenger. I still love the Challenger though, don't get me wrong. Uh, but this, I think, will be my go-to shoe at UTMB. Uh, you still get, even with the relatively lightweight, low profile design with the flexion and the lug pattern, uh, you still get that nice cushioned, uh, relatively responsive Hoka feeling. And you could just bomb the downhills, bomb down mountains, uh, and it feels good. Uh, so really excited about the Speed Goat shoe. Thank you, Carl. Uh, this is an excellent shoe. Again, it's coming out in the next couple of months. We could probably contact Hoka for an exact release date, but this shoe rocks uh, for trail running. That's all I have to say, basically, with this review. So thanks for watching this Hoka 1-1 Speed Goat shoe review. Uh, really appreciate all the subscriptions and shares, and stay tuned for more Via 2 Max Productions. <laughs>